G'day. Today on the table I have an 8th gen i3 Acer Aspire 5. An i3, which this particular one's popped up for a relatively cheap price at the moment. I'm just curious to see what upgrades we can possibly do to them. So we'll flip it over. And we'll have a quick look at the full model number, which is down here. We are an Acer Aspire A5. 514-52K-36GL uh, Also a different model number again Right here, model number N19H2 So to get into this unit, looks to be relatively straightforward So let's find out We'll start off by taking out the various Phillips head screws Fingers crossed all of these are the same length. So far, no. The three screws at the front are shorter. Ones across the middle are the same size. And so far, the ones at the back are the same size also. So all the screws from here up can all be mixed up and the three down the bottom are the same. Like that. I'm going to see if I can pry this open without too much drama. So find a good entry point. There we go. So I've just slid that between the plastic here. If I turn the angle you may be able to see it. There we go. That's lifting up quite easily from there. I slide this across, that pops it open quite easily, and we're in. So we're going to see a couple of promising things. So at the minute, we have a 50 watt hour battery, which means battery life on here is probably going to be reasonably decent. The connection over, oh, sorry, I'll zoom you out a little bit. Connection from here to a daughter board, which contains a headphone jack, a USB, and the power lights along here. We have a single CPU fan, which is connected just down here. So if that does fail, you can replace it. Also looking down here, we have a Afros wireless card from the factory. An Afros QN, uh, CNFA344A. So that could be upgradable if you would like. Next up, we're looking over here. This does come with 4 gig of RAM, but I would say that 4 gig must be in, uh, internal or soldered to the board, as I am seeing only a single sodium slot here. So with that, you could potentially upgrade it to a maximum of about 20 gig of RAM using the 4 and adding something like this into the mix which to install that it's very straightforward some people would recommend disconnecting the battery but which would be here this bit just pulls down like so if we go to the RAM slot after we've done that what we need to do is make sure that this lines up correctly, not like that, and it slides in at about a 45 degree angle. So we're kind of doing that. So if I push it in, it's sitting there, and if I push it down, we're now installed. So from there, you'd reconnect your battery, and away you would go. That's all the setup you would need. Looking down here, we have a full size M.2. Which, what model are we? We're a Western Digital PC SN520 NVMe SSD. This one's only 128 gig. Upgrading that is also very straightforward. We'll take out the single screw here. It lifts up. And we wiggle and pull back. 
Similar concept of the ram, push in on an angle and down. So we push in, drop down, screw back in, and we're good. So for me being I wasn't going to do the RAM update on this machine, I just wanted to inspect it. I will take my RAM out, battery is still disconnected, push the tabs out, flicks up, and we're out of there. Also on here the charger port is directly connected to the main board, so it isn't on a little daughter board, so do be careful of your charger port. That's it located over here. So if you do damage your charger port, you will need to take the board out to remove it and reinstall and to replace it. The removable CMOS battery down here next to the MVME drive. I believe this would be a reset button. So for now I'm going to reconnect my power. Which if it will slide over. There we go. From here, everything else is in fine condition. So I'll put the bottom cover back on and reinstall the screws. So the long screws go to the back. Strangely, one of the screws did feel a bit loose when I was removing it, which isn't a good sign on a brand new machine. But I feel like that's Ace's quality nowadays is relatively poor. We have the Acer Aspire 5 with the 8th gen i3 and 4 gig of RAM. You're able to upgrade that to a maximum of 20 gig. So using the 4 on board and adding, using a sodium to add a 16 gig stick. You may be able to get your hands on a 32 but there's not much point. And you'd also be able to upgrade the NVMe drive to pretty much any capacity you want. I think they come out as about 2 terabytes now. Granted they are fairly expensive. but there is a little bit of an upgradability to this machine, which is quite nice, considering it's a relatively cheap machine on special at the moment. I hope that helps you, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.